Australia has a major problem. It has one of the highest incidence of allergies in the world. So we're looking at around one in five children having atopic dermatitis, asthma, we're talking about one in 10 children. Um, so it's a major epidemic in Australia. So we're trying to prevent the development of allergies and understand why they are developing. And we think that there are some key factors that are involved in that process. One of those is um, age. So as uh, a child is born into a sterile environment, environment its immune system is maturing. Um, and at the same time, it's also starting to be colonized by the microbiome. And this is the bacteria, the fungi, and the viruses which inhabit our body. The interaction between those microbes and our immune system is critical for determining the health trajectory of an individual. So by understanding how those microbes talk to our body, we're hoping that we can prevent the de development of allergies. Atopic disease in children is a major health problem, a significant cause of both morbidity and mortality, and Ben's really doing pioneering work in the cutting edge of this area, studying the microbiome and its effects both on the skin and the diet modification of this. So there's a thing called the atopic march, and what that means is that children often will start developing one type of allergy, for example, a skin allergy, atopic dermatitis, and that can then progress to other types of allergies like asthma. We also work with um, birth cohorts, which is really a critical component of the translation of our fundamental research. We have a birth cohort which is based in Oslo in Norway. We have three and a half thousand babies and we're looking at how their immune system and the microbes develop on the skin of these babies in the first five years of life. And then beyond that is translating the fundamental discoveries we make in the lab, seeing which ones correlate with the birth cohorts in humans, and then how can we then test that in people. We're at that point now where we already think we know some of the metabolites which are produced by bacteria. We know they're safe, and we'd like to look at formulating those into creams now to, to apply to the skin um, to see whether that can uh, protect against allergies. Ben was somebody who we were very, very keen to recruit. We brought him back from Switzerland. He brought with him a fantastic team, and he's an outstanding addition to our school, no question. Opportunities like the Vesky present are unique in Australian science. It's, as you know, a very difficult funding climate. We're always looking for avenues to support our research. So support like this from the Vesky is really um, unmeasurable in terms of quality for what it brings. Victoria and um, Melbourne in particular is a powerhouse for immunology. There's fantastic research in this region. And so it's a great opportunity to bring my family and I to Victoria to um, continue this research. One of the other key factors about Victoria and one of the things which is supported by the Vesky Foundation and the Central Clinical School at Monash is translation of our research. And that's one of the key factors which is important for my research is to move beyond fundamental discoveries towards treatments which will influence children's health in particular. And I think we're well equipped here in Victoria to translate research into novel therapies or novel approaches to improve healthcare. I think from Vesky's viewpoint, he will be an incredibly worthy recipient because his work is innovative and I think will have tremendous commercial potential. One of the great things about being um, part of the Vesky family now is that they want to um, inspire in innovation and translation. Um, and so we have the, which is something which wasn't so present in Switzerland actually. This is something um, unique to Vesky and Victoria to really promote uh, research and translating that to um, the market to have some sort of value for uh, the state, but also for Australia.